Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Slab, the 324 cement mixing spatula, the cement liquid, the cement powder, several times and then tap lightly on the tabletop to again bring together the excessively loosened powder particles. Placing the measuring spoon into the powder and with the spatula leveling off the spoon so that one level measuring spoon of powder is placed upon the glass slab. The cement liquid is then picked up. The bottle is swirled in order to gain a homogeneous mixture of the liquid. After which the bulb is filled with liquid. First drop placed back into the bottle and then four drops of liquid placed on the glass slab beside the powder. The mixing is initiated by bringing together the entire quantity of powder and liquid. This spatulation will be carried on for approximately 30 seconds in order to bring together the entire amount of powder and liquid resulting in a rather thick putty-like consistency. After that incorporation has been completed, it's then necessary to use a great pressure of the spatula against the glass slab, or frequently referred to as stropping the mixture, in order to thoroughly break up the powder particles in the liquid and reduce the viscosity of the cement to a rather uh, fluid consistency prior to its use. This second stage of the mixing, or stropping, will consume approximately 60 seconds. This cement is quite subject to alteration due to humidity. Therefore, any excessive um, uh, breathing upon the mixing slab area should be avoided dur during its mixing. The cement is now ready for placement on the casting and into the mouth. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.